ahead and call the meeting to order. Today is uh, March meeting, license commission. Um, Commissioner uh, Bill Rosen is absent. Uh, so it's Elaine and I today. Um, just so you uh, know, we are recording audio and video. Uh, anybody with, uh, so we'll move right on to uh, public comment. <laughs> Good afternoon, my name is Craig Dalton. I sent a letter in there a little while ago requesting respectfully for my licensing fees to be returned to me because we operate a bed and breakfast. And I found out that there's over 70 Airbnbs operating in the proximity of the city. Somehow it doesn't seem fair that I get held to a different standard. And these all are hidden. And I talked to Cindy and sent her a website about all the interesting unknown features of the European Union. So I would like to have some follow-up on that. Thank you very much. I can tell you that we did a little bit of research <coughs> and um, there's still uh, more that I feel like I need to do on that. Um, I do have uh, a memorandum that was printed out uh, from the health department today, and you probably can get a copy of that. Um, so I don't know what the outcome will be, but certainly that uh, we'll talk uh, with the rest of the commission and uh, the health department and see what we can do about that. So you have a formal request in for return of, of yes. license fees? Well, I don't want to be seeing another invoice. Pardon me? I do not want to be seeing another invoice for this year. Uh, excuse me? I'm expecting I, this. I hope that I hope you were being facetious because well, Airbnb is just the tip of the iceberg. I'm sure you're well aware. There's vacation rental sites throughout this country. When I was in Florida last looking for a place perhaps to stay for a couple of weeks, there's a billion of them. Yep. So it's not a citywide problem, it's a statewide problem, it's a countrywide problem. And I think that probably it's going to take um, a solution as in Florida, many of the folks who list on the sites will say right there, I, please, please be aware, I do charge the 17% Florida tax. So this may be something we need to get the city council and the mayor involved in, sure. um, because I don't think it's um, our particular narrow <coughs> license commission responsibility. I think we need to have an overall global solution. But that's my two cents. And I, I do appreciate your concern. Thanks. Okay. Anybody else uh, public comment? All right, so we'll move on to uh, Cup and Top Cafe. Uh, one North Main Street, look for application for entertainment, live music. Yes. Hi, I'm Helen Conley, I'm Cup and Top Cafe. Thank you for putting me first on the agenda. Um, we're just seeking an entertainment license so that we can have singer, local singer-songwriters come and perform at the cafe on weekends or afternoons or evenings. Okay. And uh, this would be acoustical? Yeah, it's, yeah. yeah. Okay. At the most, one small band not being very loud. And then we don't charge a cover for it, it's just in the position. Just to add it to the ambiance. Exactly. I see. Okay. Do you have any questions? Or? No, I just want to make sure Cindy has all the paperwork that she needs on this. I do. Okay. And the fee is going to see? Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's right here. Yeah. Can you make a motion? I'll, I'll move to approve this. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Curio, <coughs> application of Newtown Evic. Hi. Good afternoon. Hi, I'm Emily Bavari. I'm Fitzpatrick Holman. To, uh, that's okay. Is a cafe, a restaurant? Okay. Yeah, we're opening an arts cafe. Oh, you, you're Attorney Ryan's old yep. office. <laughs> right oh, sure. <laughs> you're right in back of Haymarket. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Okay, sure. <laughs> 
you have a little park. We do. We're getting ready to, yes. Yes, yes. that's very the nice of you. Yeah. Thanks. Appreciate that. Thank you. Is all the paperwork in? Everything except for, is it? I have the signatures from <clears throat> um, the building and the, have you gotten the permits yet? Or? For the building? Right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Now I got the signature, so if you can bring me the copy. Gotcha. Okay. So, do these, what do these stars mean? Do we have them or we don't? Or we're still waiting for a copy of these? Oh, you might not have a copy of the deed, Cindy. I might have forgotten to send it to you. I'm just waiting for that. Can you get them for the actual place? Yeah. So if we were to make a motion to go pending all paperwork. Pending receipt of all paperwork. <laughs> you want to go ahead with that? Yeah. I'll, I'll move to, to approve this. I've, we've read a lot about it in the paper. <laughs> You've got some good publicity. I'm glad to see that. Well, we're uh, excited. Well, you should be. That's a nice little location. So we'll make a, we'll make a conditional uh, motion, which means that basically you need to get all the paperwork to Cindy before it can take a full force and effect. But I will so move conditionally to approve this. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Great. Thank you, guys. Best thank of luck. You. Thanks. Okay. Sol Rain, Joe's Cafe, Meg Sullivan. Hello. I am Megan Sullivan, um, hoping to get approval on, our, our liquor license is under Sol Rain Incorporated. Uh, recently, we changed over the stock transfer, all under my name. Uh, we also transferred over the officers to make me president and move my father, who was president, to vice president, uh, and also hoping to get a change of manager to move myself to the manager position, as opposed to my father, John Sullivan. Megan, were you before us fairly recently? I was before us, yes, uh, for just a change of manager, and that kind of opened up. Because um, we asked you a lot of questions. I don't want to have to re-ask no. as far as, yeah. Yeah, there was a little bit of an oversight um, on our our behalf and our lawyer's behalf that we had to uh, apply for the change of, um, what is it? Change of director and the transfer of stock. The ABCC sent it back so that we just need to resend it to them with all the same information. Okay, because I was gonna say, I don't want to ask all the same questions. <laughs> yeah, we know who you are. We, we, we fully support you taking over as, Thank you. as a manager. Some more than others. <laughs> uh, no comment. I didn't, I didn't hear that. Yes. Um, I would be happy to make a motion, uh, another motion just, to uh, approve Megan Sullivan as the uh, new manager. Thank you. Second. <coughs> well, all of them though. All of them. New manager, change of director. Yeah. New manager, change of director. What was the other one? Transfer of stock. Transfer of stock. Yes. Did I catch them all? Okay. Make that motion. A second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> The receipts from all the Terrific. Terrific. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wait. Can you also approve the Form 43 for that? Oh, there's a Form 43 vote. I'll make a motion that we approve the Form 43. I second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. <coughs> Okay, uh, SIP Cafe Incorporated, application for a short-term license for wine tasting. Hi, my name's Alex Weinstein. I'm here on behalf of SIP Cafe. Um, we're hoping to do a wine tasting event um, over at SIP Cafe. We're applying for a uh, short-term license for March 10th. Um, it's going to be, we have a winemaker coming in from France to uh, talk about some wines that she's making and, and um, we're doing it in cafe and then, um, yeah. All right. It's actually SIP requesting the short term license because he's from provisions and can't request the license. He's just here to represent. I'm here to represent. The request. Okay. Can someone tell me a little bit about SIP? Can you get and a little bit I'm the around? alcohol serve safe manager. Do you want me to bring you up? So I never, they never sent me the, the heaven application in for a new one. Okay. Um, right. And this is the application for this new one. Okay. Well, okay. Thanks. Awesome. Thank you. Do you have insurance too? That's what this is. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. 
So I would just like to know a little questions. about SIP. I don't personally. Absolutely. Um, SIP Cafe, they do, they're open for breakfast and lunch, um, and they do pour over coffee and <coughs> things like that. Um, and they're right, right across, the, across the way on, on Crafts Avenue. They are maybe, it's great and convenient for us because they're probably a couple doors down from provisions. So, um, near Taipei, Tokyo, right yep, yep, okay. Taipei, Tokyo is right between us. Okay. Yep. All right, so this is a one time event, and you will be you are the serve safe designated person, is correct. that correct? And you will be conducting this on their behalf. I will not, I mean, I will be there, but I'm not, I am not conducting the wine tasting myself. Okay, as far as the servers, I just want to make sure we have people there who are serve safe trained. Um, I will be serving some of the alcohol, but I will not be conducting the, the tasting necessarily. So it's it's more it's going to be more of a sit down scenario. The people who will be doing most of the food serving are food managers serve safe, mm -hmm. but they're not alcohol serve safe. Uh, there will be one other person pouring there who is tips trained, um, but uh, yeah. So it'll be a couple of people that are not who are going to be involved. Okay, are you? Uh, willing to represent to us tonight that you will be overseeing these untrained people because I'm kind of Absolutely. concerned when we get a situation, even a one-time event. Absolutely. Uh -huh. um, and it's, you know, it's going to be a small event where maximum tickets of 30 people, um, you know, and sit down. It's a very controlled event. Um, so I have no trouble saying that I will oversee that. Okay. Okay. Uh, Brian, how do you feel about that? I'm fine, but it's a long time thing. I think as long as he's there. And he's willing to take responsibility. Yeah. yeah, okay. I'll go along with that. Yeah. Great, thank you. Okay. Um, I'll move to approve the one-time uh, license for this wine tasting on March 10th, 2015. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Best of luck. Thanks. <coughs> Academy of Music Theater, application of short-term license for Best of the Valley Voices. Oh, story and and uh, Heather wanted to concert as well, two oh. applications today. Oh, okay. uh, yep, yeah, we have been holding some story slams over the past year at Hinge, and we are taking all the winners and putting them on our main stage. So that's what April 18th is, and then um, a signature sound CD release concert on the 24th. So it'll just be um, regular pre-show and intermission um, beer and wine service at Conception. Can you do me a favor and state your name? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm Allison Clayton. I'm the theater manager at the Academy of Music. Thank you. And I'm going to, to show my ears are old. Can you say your last name again? Yeah, it's Clayton, K-L-E-J-N-A. <coughs> Thank you. I was going to say, Cindy, do we have everything? It says here the serve safe, the insurance, the fee waiver. That's up to us. I was going to say, are they requesting, requesting a fee? They are requesting a fee. I've never denied it to the no. academy. Right. So I think we would respond effectively to that. I don't have any questions that you before us. You've been a good customer of the, sure. of the commission, if you want to you say. Want to make a motion on that? Yeah, I'd make a motion to approve this. Okay, Both of these uh, one time events. And the fee waiver. And the fee waiver. Okay. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Cindy, do you have this today or should I get the phone? I'm trying to remember. <laughs> <laughs> Are we going too fast? I don't. I'll have to get into it. I'm sorry. I'm trying. Are we going too fast for me? Nope. Okay. That was our response to the same. Okay. Greater Northampton <laughs> Chamber. Short-term liquor, all uh, alcohol. An event at Strong Avenue. Hi, uh, my name is Suzanne Beck. I'm the executive director of the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, making an application today. So this is um, a license for a one a one night event that we, we're doing um, with the East Side Grill. It's a fundraising event for the Chamber. We did the same event last year. Uh, we put a 40 by 80 tent in the parking lot next to the inside grill, which we've already gotten approval for from the parking commission. And it's a, an auction and social event that takes place 
in both inside the restaurant and inside the tent. Uh, last year, uh, we were in touch with the um, police department before the event and after the event and got good marks from the police department on, um, on what had happened that night. We expect about, we had 300 people last year, we may get a few more um, this year, and I'm happy to answer any other questions you have. Actually attended, so. I do have a question. What date is this scheduled for? It's Friday, May 1st. And the event goes from 6.30 till 10.30. 6.30 till 10.30. Sorry, guys. And Kristen Cole is listed as the manager for the event. Will she be the serve safe person that you're using, or? No, the serve safe um, people will be the Eastside Grill employees. Okay, so obviously, yeah. of course. Well, not that obvious, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I, we definitely wouldn't put Kristen in charge of that. <laughs> She's <laughs> uh, and, and Cindy, do we have all the appropriate paperwork? We're still waiting for the fee. Yeah, I have that with me, Cindy. Right. I brought that. Oh, that's even one. I don't have to do anything conditional. That's great. Right. Yeah. Brian, what do you, you want to assume? Do you think we should let them do this? Uh, well, did you have a good time the last time, Brian? It was, it was good, yeah. That's good. For a very cost. Good. <clears throat> I'm happy to make a motion to approve this since we have all the paperwork to be, et cetera. Okay, I second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Notice from Mitchell Auto Group. That was me to let you know that they Joshua. they had come in and they had made that application as approved. They yeah. they went through it. Okay. So no, are they not are they not uh, going forward with the business? They're not. And if you look at the next item on the agenda, it will be the people who get the next item. Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, there's somebody else applying. So okay. So somebody else is. <laughs> yes. Okay. Hi. Hello. Michael Lamp, the auto group. Jim Martin from Robinson Donovan. We were here. Attorney about, Martin, yes, you were here with a different client. Are you, <clears throat> you were here the last time. Yes, I was. So uh, we're, I was going to, my lead and I was, we're back. Yes. You know? <laughs> yeah. And uh, it's been a little change in the arrangements here. So uh, we're here today uh, uh, to follow up on that. As you recall, we were here about a month ago uh, when Northampton CJB LLC. Uh, had entered into an arrangement with the Mitchell Auto Group out of Connecticut to buy the dealership here in Northampton. Uh, as that deal progressed uh, and was being going through the approval process at the manufacturer, uh, Mr. Leah's organization came into the picture. The Mitchell Group has withdrawn. Mr. Leah's group is now going to buy the Northampton facility uh, assets and take over the operation. Uh, is uh, applications have all been submitted to Chrysler. They are on the fast track to be approved. He's taking over the current location from the landlord. Uh, we hope to close this by the end of the month once we receive, or as soon as we receive Chrysler approval. He has uh, submitted his application. End of the week. <laughs> end of the week. <laughs> Sorry. If you can get the approval, we'll close. And you know, your, uh, our expected close date is actually scheduled for next Wednesday. Mm -hmm. um, we should have approval from Chrysler as soon as uh, Friday, I'm actually uh, meeting with them side Thursday tomorrow. Oh, right. Tomorrow, and um, we should, you know, should have everything in order uh, to uh, proceed with things on Wednesday. So we, we would ask that this application be approved, much like it was the last time, condition, conditionally. Mm -hmm. Conditionally, and then when we close, Mr. Lee can come here and pick up the license because we'll have his letter of appointment from Chrysler and go to the registry and get the place for that location. Yeah. Cindy, where do we stand with paperwork? We are waiting for a current <coughs> um, lease and a current. Um, you need a business certificate, or not business certificate? The uh, articles. You, I did actually check the articles of organization or whatever they are are on the website now. Yeah. But um, they may be just because I noticed it misspelled in one of the letters, but. Is it an LLC? It's an LLC. Yeah, so it's actually an, it's, it's registered as an LLC. It would be an operating agreement as opposed to the typical. Cindy, I just received that. I can forward that email to you. <coughs> uh, for the articles. 
but just please note that it may be a change because I saw two H's in it, which okay. we absolutely did not submit it that way, nor did our attorney. Okay. So, um, um, I remember maybe it's just posted I, on the website cor incorrectly. Okay. The um, email I sent you earlier described that the lease was from 2012, and you said you'd be having an updated one come. Yeah, I believe, and Jim, maybe <coughs> I, I talked to the landlord. He got it. He's out of town. I believe we're going to be that lease will be assigned to us and it's with the same terms as the current lease. I've spoken um, to the landlord. Uh, it's Mr. Thomas who used to operate the Ford store. Mm -hmm. I've spoken to his law, the land, uh, his lawyer Bob Leitze, who's spoken to Alan Richards, who's Michael's lawyer, and that I was told uh, that I would agree upon. Mr. Leitze was preparing the assignment, an yes. assumption agreement, and okay. we're going to coordinate that with Attorney Richards. Yeah. I seem to remember vaguely, since it seems a little bit like Groundhog Day, you, you know, just change a little bit, mm -hmm. um, that there was some bank stuff the last time. Cindy, was there, when, when Mitchell was in here, was it, we were we waiting for something as far as uh, confirmation from their bank on something? I'm not sure, but we were waiting for several things and just never yeah. got them, so. Yeah, yeah. But this one, we're, it looks like to me that we're just waiting for the, the the current Lord. lease and the floor plan is <coughs> has 2012 written on it, so I need to have it currently. When you say floor plan, you mean the actual uh, I can the show actual you what building you're floor plan, the built facility floor plan. The whole facility. They need the parking lot and everything because if you change where it is, I think yeah. there was some issues with parking at one point. And you're asking if it's been a change in. No, that's we're using the existing. We're not. We're not um, relocating. We're. So then you just need to send me one with this year's date on it. Okay, just change the data. Yeah, because so I don't want to change footprint. what you sent me. Okay. Right. So but what you print. sent me actually has 2012 date on it, so I don't feel comfortable. Okay, no, I appreciate that. I, like I said, I will forward you the other item. Um, is there anything else? I'm, I'm willing to move to approve this conditionally, <coughs> conditionally on us receiving a Kirk uh, 2014 lease showing the same 15. footprint, uh, an operating uh, agreement for the LLC, um, and I, I think that's the only thing. The, the site plan. And then the site plan, yeah. yeah. And the letter of approval. Right. So operating agreement, site plan, letter of approval. Is that right, I think Cindy? that's and the lease and the lease and the lease the updated yeah. lease. Yeah. Well, it won't, be, it won't. It'll just be strictly an assignment document that it's assigned. Well, right. That'll be a 15 date. That's what right. Right. you need. Know. Yeah. We just, just we need to have a lease items. that says 2000. Yes, I understand. That's okay. So we have an open motion. So I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Attorney Martin. Aye. Kind of hope I don't see you in another month. Well, we hope you don't see me on this transaction. <laughs> and perhaps I, do. And, and I want to say, boy, I love listening to the uh, other folks who are up here with all the restaurants and stuff. Um, we're actually in the just recently in the restaurant business in Albany, the little burger cafe type <coughs> thing, and it's like, wow, you guys got uh, quite a good selection of good stuff around here. Good, I'm glad so we like it. I told <laughs> Cindy I was talking. I said, yeah, I don't. Get a, enough time to stay, you know, stay here, eat at all establishments, but it is nice down. Who's the um, who's the manager over at your place? Uh, I have a couple folks um, finalizing, deciding on who uh, is going to be there exactly. But the current management and office management staff and the other two stores, three stores, are, are going to assist in, uh, in that. The office manager that is there, Robin, will be staying there as well. She worked for us prior, and. Um, She's agreed to stay on, so <coughs> that'll help with a smooth transition as well. Great. So. Okay. Best of luck. Well, thank you very thank much. Thank you. Folks. Thanks. Good luck. Uh, okay. Item 13, ratify the consensus. After a brief discussion. Cindy, do we have a problem with pa with a past motion? Is that why we need to ratify a consensus? There actually wasn't a motion made, but I need to give them their licenses, and it had been stated in the meeting that we would, that there was positive discussion about giving them the license. And made a mistake. Huh? So we just needed to actually make a motion and ratify it. <coughs> so these are, these are things that are all happening, have happened, or are they're going to happen soon. This yeah. is for the Ford Library and right. everything under there? And I told her that she didn't okay. need to come because she already had represented it. 
Any problems, Brian? I'm happy to None. make a motion to ratify the consensus that had been arrived at at an earlier meeting that uh, Forbes Library could certainly have a short term wine and malt license for these events. And uh, we're going to give you a fee, a fee waiver? Uh, and also to grant them a fee waiver as per customary procedure. Okay, second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. That concludes, except for the approval of minutes. I think we should probably wait. I was going to approve. I was going to hold off unless Cindy, you absolutely need to have them approved. I'd like to have Bill take a look at them yeah. also. Okay. Okay. Any new business? None. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I would uh, look for a uh, motion to adjourn. I would move to adjourn. I will second that. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Aye.